Atlanta, they didn't just have Desmond Ritter and say, oh, well, this is all we got. We're just going to roll with him. They've groomed this guy. Ritter uh, started the final four games of last season, and they had a game plan for him. They kept it simple. Basically, they gave him two reads, a primary receiver and a secondary, both on the same side of the field every time. And uh, if it wasn't there, he you know, was directed to protect the ball, and that's what he did. I don't believe he threw an interception. Uh, Arthur Smith has now worked with Ritter for a year plus, and he's pretty much put his job on the line in my mind because if things don't go well with Ritter, this could things aren't going to go well for, for Arthur Smith. So I'm of the belief that uh, Ritter can lead this offense. I'm high on the Falcons this season. They also added B. John Robinson, the top back out of Texas, and pretty much overhauled the entire defense, a defense that did perform much better in the second half of 2022, but an area that will need improvement this year. But the Panthers aren't going to be any good. And look, Bryce Young, he might be a great NFL player. Uh, This is not a knock on Bryce Young, but he's not ready to go on the road in his first ever NFL start and come out with a win simply because you just can't simulate the game speed, the schemes that are going to be, you can simulate the schemes, but the game speed when he gets in there, his first ever NFL start, it's just not going to go well. Uh, The Panthers, they're going to have a league average offensive line at best. And Young doesn't even have a true number one wide receiver to throw to. I mean, Adam Thielen, that's the guy, the guy that Minnesota was happy to get rid of. Uh, Defense isn't strong either. I just cannot see a way that the Panthers get out of Atlanta in week one with a win. Uh, I locked in the minus three because I think it's an okay number. This feels like a 26. 417 type game and we're protected with the key number so i'm rolling with the falcons week one nfl so you talked about atlanta's rebuilt defense i'm going to talk about that in terms of laying points week one new defensive coordinator new schemes we could see six new starters for the falcons against a rookie qb where they have no film on and who's known for making some improv plays and you're laying points Does any of that worry you here? I mean, when you talk about a completely rebuilt defense and a new DC and a guy they don't have film on. Uh, So new head coach for the Panthers uh, reworked a lot of positions there. Um, A guy they don't have film on uh, because he's never played an NFL game and really We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you know as well as anyone, the speed of the game in the NFL is incredibly, incredibly higher than that of college. Uh, They'll be able to put some schemes together to disrupt him. And it's not like Bryce Young is not going to have the offensive line he had at Bama where he can just sit back and wide receivers are way wide open. I mean, this is going to be probably a wake-up call. It's going to be a long season for the Panthers. And furthermore... um, Andy Lang touched on this division. The NFC South is wide open. I think the Falcons have uh, a shot at potentially winning the division. I mean, the Panthers are going to be terrible. The Bucs are going to be horrific. You have the Saints. We'll see what happens with them. And then you've got Atlanta, who I'm hearing uh, others are high on as well. Um, But laying points against a rookie quarterback making his first start, and it's just a field goal, no, not a problem for me. Yeah, for what it's worth, uh, Jimmy, I feel the same way you do. If I'm playing in that game, I'm laying. I do not want Bryce Young in his first road start. That said, we got to ask a follow-up. 